These shocking images show the lengths some greyhound owners will go to when their dogs become too old to race. This former racing dog was found tied to a tree on Monday, April the 20th, with both of his ears cut off. Attacks of this nature are all too familiar when it comes to greyhounds, who are often tattooed in their ears to help identify them. The male black greyhound was found by a member of the public here at Banktop in Bedlington. He was covered in blood and both of his ears had been entirely removed. A passerby took the dog to Robson and Prescott Veterinary Centre in Morpeth. Newly named Lugless Douglas is now recovering at the surgery and is looking forward to be taken home by new owner Grace Spedding. I did shed a few tears when he first found out why and just to, to hear his, what he's been through and obviously he couldn't defend himself or anything like that. He just had to put up with it while he cut his ears off. It's, just, it's a bit horrific but um, trying my, my best to make him comfortable and happy. My hands have always been a, a, my favourite dog. I've got one at home that we've rescued an X-Racer as well. So I mean, there's a lot of them out there that do need a lot of homes and um, just to, to hear his story and what he's been through, it's, it's just the right time, I think, just to take him home. I mean, I've been the one that's looked after him and I've nursed him through there and I, I think he deserves a good home, so I think I could give him one. We do think he used to be a bit recent greyhound um, and recent greyhounds do get tattoos on their ears, um, so we're, we're thinking that they, they obviously don't want them anymore and, just to cut the ears off too so the identity can't be traced back to the owners so that they don't have, have to do with them anymore. This is Tegan Chapman reporting for News Post Leader TV at Banktop in Bedlington.